Okay, everybody, welcome back to this particular video and welcome back to the Video Geek Squad channel. In this particular video today, guys, what we're going to be talking about is navigating the Camtasia video user interface. Um, so many people that I know that I recommend, and this is really the only software that I recommend for video editing to all of my clients and customers. And I wanted to make you guys aware of how to use the video interface so that it's not overwhelming and that you would be able to really recognize the elements of the Camtasia video interface. So when you first log into Camtasia, this is typically what you're going to see. And when you see this video interface, what you're typically going to do is you're going to come to um, several parts, okay? First of all, you have your, 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 your panel here, which is your sort of your navigation panel of how you're going to navigate around. Then you're going to have what's called your media bin, okay? So you got your media bin here. Um, you've got your canvas, which is here. Um, this is your working canvas, then you have your properties tab, and then you have your actual timeline. Now, your properties tab doesn't really come into place until you move a piece of content into the, in, onto the timeline or into your media bin, okay? So let's say, for instance, you wanted to import a piece of media. Um, uh, let's just import this just for the sake of importing it, okay? We'll, we'll add this one in. OK, and what it's going to do, it's going to upload this for you. Once it finishes uploading, then we'll be able to edit and you will see all of the properties and all of the other elements will sort of open up for us. OK, now the great thing about uh, Camtasia that I love is its simplicity and its user interface. OK, when you come here to the middle section here, this is where you're going to find your Camtasia assets. OK, some of these assets will be free. Some of these assets will be paid. But this is where you're going to find assets for all of your Camtasia uh, uh for Camtasia assets. Now you're also going to find your own library. These are your library of assets that you might have added into your library to make it very quick for you to work. And I sort of recommend that you do that, especially if you're working on a consistent basis, you want to make sure that you do that. Now I want to show you once you take this and you drag this down. Okay. Well, I didn't want that to happen. Um, once you drag that down to the timeline, you will notice that the properties tab opens up a whole scale of options for you over here. OK, you have the media options and then you have the audio options. OK, now, if you subscribe to the um, Audiate um, subscription, then you're going to get access access to the assets there. Um, but for the sake of this, because I have something that does all of my transcripts already, um, so I don't really have to pay for it. Um, you know, so it does everything for me. And if you guys are interested in what does all of my transcripts for me, I'll put a link down uh, in the description for you down below. Um, and I use a little program called Pictory. Pictory does all of that stuff for me and it gets my SRT files and all of that for me. So I don't really have to worry about that. OK, so here are your elements. You've got your media bin, your can, your canvas, your properties tab and then your timeline. Now, if you look here, you get some other options here, which is your annotations. This is where you can sort of add sort of call outs and, and you know, all sorts of things. You can add arrows, you can blur things out, um, you can add squiggly lines, and you can do keyboard shortcuts or call outs as well. Okay, you've got your visual effects. This is where you can change the tint, you can do corner rounding, you can do all sorts of things here. But for the sake of this video, I just really wanted to focus in on the video interface, okay? So this is how you're able to move around the Camtasia video interface. Here you have your, once again, you have your, uh, your media bin, you have your canvas, this is your canvas, then you have your properties tab, this is the properties tab here, and then you have your actual timeline. And this is the Camtasia video interface that you can use in order for you to um, navigate around. Now, if you don't have Camtasia, there'll be a link for you in the description below. I've also done a review on my channel for Camtasia. Take a look at it and that way you can see it and you can use it to the best of your ability.